be less possible. Richard. Why did you bring me? I want the heaven to bear me witness on the mountain. No. I need to go and read. Why are you missing the time? Take it. What do you see? Look at it. See trees, houses, the sky. We are at your car park. Is there something else I'm supposed to see? By the way, what did you come with? Richard, I came in the car. How would you want to push back in your own ride? It's your car. Yes. Yes. What is it? I can hear you. Richard, I'm not sick. You know me. I will not disturb you if it's not so important. 
You need to see me. What for? Whatever you want to tell me, please say it over the phone. Idara, hey, uh, don't play that game with me, okay? I know why you want to see me. I have explained things to you. Whatever that happened between us was a mistake on my part. I have apologized to you. Oh, uh, please. I have told you there is this girl I want to marry. And it's very serious. We're getting married pretty soon. Ah, uh, please. Richard, I'm pregnant.
I'm more of a husband made in love, and they're about to get married. And so, where was his love for this woman when he got you pregnant? Eh? This is just the way of getting married. What are you doing here? Baby, you look tired. Why don't you come inside and let me give you a massage? What is it? You look like you just wrestled with a tiger. What happened? I'm just coming in from Kaduna. Kaduna? But you told me your meeting was in Abuja. I have a woman that I love so much. Oh, 
are getting married very soon. Richard, I cannot have an abortion. I was on my own living my Christian life, going to work that they were paying me the money that I can take care of myself. I can take care of myself with. And you, 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 you just came from nowhere to sweep me off my feet. You came and swept me off my feet. Now you think you can leave me alone like that? Richard, I will surprise you. Won't you come and take responsibility for what you've done? You want to leave it for me? Richard, I know get mama get papa. You said nothing spoiled between us. That everything was fine. Okay. But here I am. Listening to your conversation with your pregnant lover, apparently you guys were probably making out or whatever. Richard, I thought for once that you were different. I thought that you were a better man. And I could have vouched that you were different, but right here you proved to me that all men are the same. Listen, I, I came back here because I couldn't sleep last night. And you know what? I had a lot of thoughts on my mind. I have given way too much to this relationship to just to just walk out. I can't, I can't just give up because of another woman. I can't. So this is what we are going to do. You will tell your pregnant woman to get rid of that pregnancy. That way, all the meetings and the phone calls will stop and we will go back to our lives. Happy about that. Oh, Richard, don't give me that look. So you know, not you. Not your pregnant lover, not even me, can get me out of this relationship. I am not going anywhere.
Mami, mami. Mami, how are you? Sweet boy. Mami, you sounded so gentle in the text message you sent to me. What is the matter? No, mommy, here, talk to me. What is, what is the problem? Do you know where your father is? Mom, how can you be asking me that? You told me your father died when you were pregnant with me. Why are you telling me this? See? You don't have an answer to that question. This is because you don't know who your father is. You never got the chance to meet him because he was not there to see you grow up. Even now that you have grown into a man, he is still not here. He doesn't know what you look like. Mommy, you're getting me all confused. How can my father know what I look like right now when he's late? What are you talking about? I told you the father is dead. Because I want to believe he's dead. This should be more than enough. So this is your answer. I want you. I can never do that, Paul. Listen to yourself. You're asking me to come into your own life. This is mother. No. What gives you the right to make him the love of an innocent girl? Just because you don't want to find her Tell me about it. Would you be alive to me if your mother had you? Know this. If you decide to keep this thing, let me tell you, you are on your own. O Y O. Or your suffering I went through to bring you up as a single mom means anything to you. Hmm. You have to make sure that that girl keeps that pregnancy. 
Pathetics, my friend. Getting yourself booked for me over this cheap petty girl that you're not even sure you're responsible for her pregnancy. Hey, come on. I think that girl needs some money. They give her the money. Let her get rid of the pregnancy and get out of your life. Then you carry on with your life, with your life. What's the big deal? Just don't understand the words. Oh, my mom is involved now. Your mom is involved. How on earth would you tell your mom? Someone did go to my mom. I'm sorry. I don't know. Really? Right. Just calm down, man. Calm down. You're a big boy. I'm jealous. Alright. Just think of what I just said. Don't ever get to your mother. Alright, thank you. Alright, it's a while. Then, thank you. here to discuss. I don't even know why I came here. I guess I'm here because... How did you get to my mother? I told you that you would not like my surprise. Just tell me. How that's, did you get to my mother? That's none of your business. None of your business. How could you? That woman means a lot to me. Oh, really? That's so good to look at us. Who 
бабушки. So what are you saying? Are you beginning to fall in love with her? If you I choose you, I choose you, but the problem between us is that you're making things difficult for me. Oh really? I don't care. Explain it to me. I want to see my mm -hmm. She has been on the case. She wants me to get married and give her a grand child. But I told her Oh, no, 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 it's okay. Oh, so you already went to squeal to mama that somebody's pregnant for you. Richard. Okay. So, after telling your mom, really? Okay. Okay. I'm guessing she asked you to marry the girl and you don't know how to tell me that your mother asked you to marry a girl you impregnated. Right? So you keep rejecting. I love you so much. In my next world, I will still choose the issue that I want to. What is your problem? I am not ready to get married. Not now. I have given so much. I have put so much into my education. And I am not going to let that slide. 
you and I agreed that I can get my master's degree before we get married. Why are you trying to change it? I mean, even if I get married now, what am I getting married to? I don't want to be like all those women whose husbands treat like maids because they have nothing to bring on the table. I want to be a woman that can support my husband financially and otherwise. Richard, I want to be able to get a good job and I will only be able to do that with a master's degree. With Richard, no. He is married. Or do you want to be cursed? Don't tell me you believe in all this cursed bullshit. If there's anybody that should be cursed, is that one? Richard and I have an affinity. We are inseparable. Richard is my man. Do you understand? He loves me, he loves me, and I love him too. As Beach Fiona. I'm sure you know that. That girl was evil to me. 
when she cajoled her way to make him marry her. Well, he's fine. She can have him for the time being. Because what is about to happen? <laughs> she has absolutely no idea. I will make sure Richard divorces her disgracefully. And then I will get my back. Tell me this is true. Did we did all this to you? And he forced you to do all the house chores? God forbid. That is not how you say it. Idara, you have to fight for a divorce before this man kills you. As the day goes by, the love increases, so why do I have to? And even if I do, why do I go to? Where should I go to? Where do I go to? My mom is late. No family member. No, no one to run to. Oh I don't have anybody. Where do I go to? Why would you do this? You have me. You have Junior, your son. Huh? Here is your fate. Here is your fate, Dara. This man treats you this way because he knows you are an orphan. He beats you up and he has told you to be his Pochimba. Dara, you have to stand. Stand up to him. Let him know your rights. Let him know you are a daughter of Zion. Let him know you, you understand the God you serve. I think you. I know. You don't know. I know. God is punishing me for sleeping with a man before he got married to me. I slept with him before we got married. God is punishing Stop me. Stop now! What is this? <laughs> See, stop it. Our God is not a wicked God. You sound like a baby Christian. Okay, now wait, wait. Just, just look at what God is saying here. Oh, have you forgotten your scripture? Have you forgotten what He said in First John one nine? If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all our righteousness. God has forgiven you, Lord. Stop doing this. No crying. Stop it. This whole marriage thing has changed you. He used to be a very strong Christian, filled with the Holy Ghost. What is going on? Okay, wait. Look at what the Word of God is saying. Look, He said in, in Psalm 9, 9 to 10, He said, The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. In times of trouble, and they that know thy neighbor would put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, are not forsaking them that seek thee. Amen. Amen. God is not forsaken. Please don't cry. Yes. You are a child. Child for me now. Yeah. It's very good. It's very good. So how is your mother? Where is she? She has traveled out to the country. <laughs> Come on, not to flex. Well, um, um, did you try telling her all this? No. I keep telling her about my issues, my family issues. No, I can't keep doing that to her. It breaks her heart even when she hurts. So, I think it's why you told her. No, I don't. Don't keep. Bugging her over my issues, no. Oh, it's okay. Anyways, how, how is Junior doing? I'll see. 
Junior is a big boy. Whoa, you can say <laughs> that again. <laughs> really? Wow. Look at Junior yesterday. For Christ's sake, he died. Don't keep me waiting. Please. Guma. I'm coming. What manner of a bush woman are you? You look like an egg. Like a baboon. Don't even have dresses. You need to see what you look like. You look like a scarecrow. Go ahead, Miss. Why insult on me, Richard? What is wrong with what I'm wearing? Everything is wrong with you, woman! Because you're brainless like a chimpanzee. You don't know courtesy. You don't have class. You don't have behavioral etiquette. God knows I've been trying my best to see if I can cope with you. But each time I try, I get to realize that your brain is as dull as a ditch water. You are incapable of learning how to live in my class of war. Why not just say it? Why not just be a man and say you hate me? I hate you! I hate the day I met you. The day I made love to you. The day I married you. You disgust me, woman. You are idiot. Asshole! You've spoiled my day. I'm not going anywhere again. I'm
You are saying what is because still of Fiona. That is it. Fiona is the one I love. She's the one that I love so much. And I can never stop loving her. Fiona is not the man you married. Which is the reason you should leave everything about her in the past when you do not. Come to think of it, if she was your wife, things could have worked out for you both. Either is the woman you married. She deserves your love, not Fiona. I know this might be difficult for you to understand, but let me tell you something that might help you. Someone says, ultimately, Want marriage, friendship, and sport, conversation. Engage her in the conversation. Believe me, with time, you start loving her and you enjoy your marriage. Please. Work in Abuja now? Yeah, for almost five years now. Oh! <laughs> Good for you. Come here. Yeah. I'm married with a kid's son. Interesting. Um, Fednut, you know it's good to see you what, what, again. I, I have to run. Idara, stop. The man you're married to, he's the kind of mind that beats women up, isn't it? Ferdinand, my husband is very caring, so he will not lay a finger on me. Listen to me. I understand that it's embarrassing to expose your family problem. But you also need to understand that there comes a time that you will need help. And you really need help right now. I am a police officer. I can read your mood. I understand that you must be going through hell in that marriage. But I can help. Ferdinand, um, I don't understand. Do you expect me to arrest my own husband? No, 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 no. You don't need to arrest him. You just need to make him understand that even if you were married to him as his wife, that doesn't give him the right to beat you up. Well? That's a civil matter. As a policeman, I don't have a jurisdiction over that case. But I have a friend who works with the human rights who can help. Idara, are you really ready to be helped? Um, Ferdinand, let me just give you my number. I have to pick up my son from school. Um, At least have my number now. Yeah, let me give you my... So let me pick up my son. Thank you. 
Pero Don't go there. 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 This is Idara. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Please, where can I see the human rights person you talked about? Okay, thank you very much.
What is wrong with you? Baby, I can see you want trouble. I'll give you one. Baby, I am your wife. Why are you denying me my conjugal right? What did I do wrong? What way did I offend you? Pack your things and leave. That the chemistry is not connected. I love my is connected. Oh! I don't have any feelings for you. Only I have feelings for you. Follow me again, I'll give, give you the bits of your life. She goes. You must give me my coming out right today. You must give me my coming out.
You look like trampled vegetables. Yet, you refuse to do the only thing that makes sense here. You have the recordings. Give me the cat plant. Just give me the go ahead so I could call my guy from the human rights. Let us end this. Let's end this. That bastard husband of yours needs to be taught a lesson for his wickedness. I understand you may think you love him being weak and stupid and if this continues it's a promise you'll just die for nothing take that as a friendly advice can i get water thank you for coming ferdinand told me that your husband still beats you I don't know why you developed cold feet and collected the video device that would have used as an exhibit. But you need to know that if you don't do what you have to do fast, this could lead to a more problematic situation. He could kill you someday. You might think you love him, but it is not about you betraying your love for him, if that's what you're thinking. It is about saving your life. A man that beats you up this way does not love you. You got to say love you.
mommy. Kisses. Yes, love. 